What's up guys? Cheers. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I am so excited for this little... <laughs> That's Baxter. I am so excited for this little mini project that I'm going to be doing. So let's just hurry up because I want to start already. Side note, if you see a mess back here, just ignore it. I'm doing some chores today as well. So, so I don't know if you guys like pepperomias but I do and I love I love all the different varieties but I don't really have the space to have one giant pot of each variety in my house which I would love to have but so my solution to this problem problem <laughs> was to have a little garden like a mini garden i got the idea because a local nursery was selling some what inch is this two inch three inch i'm terrible with determining the size of pots if it's not written but these little minis i thought oh my god perfect i could get a bunch of minis of different varieties and then throw them together because they're gonna have similar care and I solved my problem. So I bought five and there were actually, I think two more, but I don't, I didn't really care for those ones. They're not really my favorite. Um, so I just bought the ones I wanted. Here we have the, oh my God, I'm blinking. Totally just blanked on the name. So I don't know. I actually used to have this one in a, like a four inch or six inch pot. And I ended up selling it a while ago. I'll list all the names, but I totally just blinked on this one, but this beautiful bluish silver one. Then we got the Peperomia Hope, I believe. I almost didn't get this one, but I really like it because it the leaves are like succulent-y, succulent-y. They're similar to a succulent. Next is the Peperomia Roso. I actually also used to have a like six inch pot of this one and I loved it and sold it and I kind of regretted it. In the sunlight, the leaves get super shimmery, but then the under un, underside, they are red. So very cool. And I like that the leaves are pointed, so it's a little bit different in leaf shape. And then we got this guy. I always wanted one of these when I first was super into peperomias. This was like top of my list. And I get, hey, a dog just almost knocks down my entire set up anyway um yeah so as i was saying i was obsessed with these and i this variety at least and i wanted one so bad and i ended up never getting one but here we are so i'm super excited that they had minis because this is gonna be beautiful and then we got this baby this was also one that i was on the hunt for when i was first looking for peperomias and I'm super excited that they had this one. Besides the plants, I got my pot. I actually had this one lying around and it's perfect because it's not too deep and it's wide enough that I can fit. <sighs> it's wide enough that I can fit all of them in there, no problem. And you need your soil, which I have next to me. I also have this little assortment of pebbles. I'm gonna maybe like sprinkle on top. I don't know, we'll see. And I think that's it. Oh, also. I don't know how this is gonna look. I'm kind of nervous. So I've had this little cow like trinket that I got at a thrift store a while ago. And it just has this little opening. And originally when I bought it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this for an air plant, but I don't really like air plants that much. Or I don't really care for them. So whatever, I just drilled holes in the bottom. I never got around to putting anything in it because everything that grows it so quickly that it's kind of like a pain in the air but starting off with the soil of course you can totally do like charcoal and stuff but this is just a regular pot if i was doing this in a terrarium or something similar with no drainage hole i would totally do charcoal and all that good stuff so taking some of them out of their pots or not some of them all of them <laughs> they're pretty moist i think the nursery just watered them which is cool sorry with me you don't want to rip them out anytime you're moving plants out it's better to just kind of squeeze and they should come right out the roots look great on all these so that's a relief because you never know done with that so looking at this one there are clearly two heads two separate plants in here so i think i will use one of these to go in 
my cow. Just gently rip. My hope is that because of these holes and I'm putting this in the soil that it, when this outgrows the cow, their little roots will just come out of here and I won't have to worry about potting something else in here. Tell me that's not so freaking cute just on its own. All right, so the cow, I think I'm gonna place back here now to place the rest. It's just a matter of kind of moving things around and seeing where I want them. I'm also pretty indecisive. And back when I lived in California a few years ago, well, like more than a few years ago, I used to make a lot of succulent and cacti arrangements and I was selling them. And that was fun, but it always took me a little bit because I want everything to look as good as it can and I'm indecisive, so it just takes even longer. Okay, so my goal for these, the hopes, I think they're the hopes, but anyway, is that they'll eventually trail because I have seen these can be trailers. So I am gonna put them a little close to the edge for hopes of that. And I'm not digging anything in too permanently yet because I want it to be easier when I'm moving things around. Now I'm like really getting into it because I switched to my position. I think this is, I'm liking this. And like I said, they're fast growers and I want to give them room to fill out. I don't know if I'm going to want them to be a lot bushier than this as they grow. Like I might not like that look, but I want to have the option for that. So if you're ever making one of these and you're unsure how you even want the desired look to be, just leave yourself with a little wiggle room and it'll be a lot easier, especially if you're indecisive like I am. I do wish I had some gravel, but I don't. So I'm gonna see, I'll put just a little and see how I like this. Little tip that I figured out, which I feel like a lot of people know, it's not much of a secret. When I was making a lot of these, like I said, with cacti especially, and you know, dirt's getting all up in between the spines and the spikes, I'm, I can't use my finger. So using an old makeup brush or a small painting brush is perfect. And you just kinda can dust off without worrying about, like in my case with the cacti, uh, poking yourself and you can get like all the little cracks although this one doesn't really work as well because it's too stiff but i can't find my painter brush painting brush um that i usually use so this will have to do i think this is it i'm gonna water it give it a nice spray so it looks real professional when i show you guys the end result another thing to keep in mind with any of these little gardens that you make you can't just use like when i water my plants i just use the gallon and i pour it in you don't really want to do that with these especially when you first make it because nothing's really as settled yet but you don't really want to disturb all the plants and rocks because they will move around if you just throw on a whole bunch of water really aggressively so you have to be a little gentle the first time Now we're gonna give everything a spray. This is not something I do normally with my plants, but like I said, if I want it to look really pretty, I will give plants a spray down before taking photos. All right, here is the result. It's messy, I may have spilt a little bit, but I think it's pretty cute. It's still draining because I did just water it but i think i love it the rocks i'm i think if anything i might take out the rocks and replace with like that really fine black gravel and kind of put some right here i think that might look a little better although maybe it's going to just look a little messy until it starts to fill out because i would eventually want like these gaps that don't have the the little rocks to be covered. That's kind of what I was hoping for with this. To me personally, it doesn't look too cheesy 
with just the cow in there and no hay if you do like putting a bunch of little trinkets in your gardens or mini gardens whatever but that's just not my thing i am really glad that i did get the hope because i'm so excited for when this starts trailing i think it's gonna look really cute this one just looks so good so now that i'm finished i will say i think the cow came out cuter than I was expecting. <laughs> I didn't really have high hopes for it, but I just really wanted to use it, but I kind of love it. So. so I'm really excited for this cute little garden. I'm definitely gonna have updates on keeping it trimmed and how they're all doing together because yes, they are the same genius. Romy is the genius. Sometimes I even mix it up but they were all different varieties so just because they are in the same family but different varieties does not mean that they are going to have the same care i didn't really take the time to research the specific care for each type of peperomia that i got because i kind of wanted to figure it out on my own just experiment see what happens so let me know if you also like peperomias and what your favorite variety is because there are like a million out there i'm on instagram you can find me there and I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in my next video.